everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It's time for snacks around the world and a visit from Oscar because he was going meow, meow as I was about to push record. So he wanted to be held. Yes, he wanted to be held. And maybe he knew that I was about to open some food. Yeah, uh-huh. I see that look. We call him Munch because he eats a lot. His name is Oscar, but Munch is one of his nicknames. Right? Right. You're going to get down for now. Go on. Go on. And I'm going to show you something new, or new to me anyway. Munch Addict. Now, I saw this. Um, Kelly and Kevin from Life of a Mill Wife, and I will link them somewhere, somewhere. Um, they had a box of this, and I thought, wow, that looks interesting. And I went and checked out prices, and it wasn't bad. So I subscribed, and I've had this box for almost three weeks. And I have not eaten anything out of it. I did open it and poke around and look, but everything is still in there. Can you believe it? You should believe it because I did. Truthful. And it's all been moved around and discombobulated. It is a box full of snacks. Now, getting out the handy dandy card that comes with it. Um, there is stuff from, let's see, Korea, Lithuania, Mexico, Indonesia, Poland, Japan. Um, you can also get uh, drinks for an extra price. I decided not to do that. Um, but yeah, a lot of really, really cool things in here. And I did not get, at least I don't think I got the premium thing. I don't remember which box I got. I just know that I ordered and said, woohoo, let's try some things. Now, Lots of full-size stuff. I mean, look at this. Cheese ball. That's probably going to be pretty good. You can even read what's in it. Cheese ball. All right. And there's this. This looks like Oreo Thins from Korea, maybe. Look at that. Okay. Lots of goodies in here. And I'm not going to try it all or eat it all today. But I'm going to try some of it. And I'm going to share some. Ooh. Ooh. Barbecue flavor cornic? I don't know what that is. Fried corn. Fried corn. Oh, we're trying this one right now. Let me see if I can figure out where this is from. Dried corn. I'm looking, I'm looking on the list. I don't see anything that says dried corn. Gotta love it. Maybe it's on the back. Yes, Philippines, okay. Boy Bawang Cornet. I know I have some scissors here, or at least I did. Here they are. Because everything is Deborah proof packaging these days. Ha. Huh. And this is not packed full of air either. You know how a lot of snacks is like, oh, you get a big bag, but it's all air? This one is not. This is a hundred gram packet, which doesn't may not sound like much, 3.54 ounces, okay? And you open it up and it is pretty full in there. Let's see about nutrition. Servings per container, about three. You get about a half a cup. 20 grams of carbs, that's not too bad for a snack like this. And it's uh, 140 calories. Everything else, you read the package when you buy it. I mean, come on, or you don't, it's a snack. I vaguely smell corn, much more if you stick your nose to it. I'm not smelling any kind of barbecue flavor though, which is weird because barbecue flavor is what it's touting on there. Ooh. Y'all. I don't know if you heard the crunch on that. That is pretty damn yummy. Mmm. Fried corn. What? Okay, I'm going to have to look for these, like in an international store. Love the crunch. The size of it is almost like if you've ever fried or baked um, chickpeas and seasoned them. That's like the size of them. Let me see if I can crunch one open and show you the middle. <clears throat> I 
it's airy on the inside. There's not a lot there. It's corn. It literally is corn. And the cat is back. He thinks he wants some. Oscar, come here. Come on. Over here. See this? It's over here. I just bit one in half and gave him a piece. Because he thinks he has to have some because Mama's eating it. And he's eating it. Wow. Okay. These are good. These here, plus one, plus five, plus whatever. I don't rank things on a scale, but those are fat chick approved right there. Yum. Okay. I think I want to open something sweet now. But it, oh, these look good. Good and little and tiny. I don't know what they are. Let's see if there's anything on here that I can read. Not really. You don't eat this. It looks like chocolate. They give you this handy dandy thing with pictures, so sometimes you can kind of tell what things are. Ah, this is from Korea. Chohas Choco. Crispy center bar dipped in chocolate. Similar. A Korean version of Kit Kat. Okay. I mean, they do have Korean Kit Kats that are all different flavors. But this is like apparently their version of it. Maybe it's more posh or something. I don't know. All right. It's even shaped like Kit Kats, y'all. Wow. Little different groove on the top, though. Oh, I can tell it's warm in here today. Um, little decorative groove. It doesn't say Kit Kat. It doesn't have a name at all. It's just texture. I have chocolate on my hands, so that's okay. It tastes like a much creamier, chocolatier version of a Kit Kat. Because Kit Kats in, in the U.S. are mostly about the wafers in between, I think. Yes, yes there's a chocolate coating, blah blah blah, but this chocolate is much creamier. Nice, very very nice. And I'm going to try one more thing, and then we'll continue this box next week, because of course we will. Oh. Ooh. Pelon Pelonete Sabor a Tamarindo. Okay. These are tamarind snacks of some kind. Made in Mexico. Hershey of Mexico. Okay. Don't give to kids under three years old. This is all in Spanish, of course, uh, probably because of the size of the candies and there could be choking. Let me see if it describes them on here at all. Tamarind candy balls coated in a sugar shell. Simple enough. Let's see what we've got. There are my scissors so that I don't get them everywhere. Excessive calories, excessive sugar, excessive sodium. Says so right there because, you know, they're looking out for your health. Actually, I think that's mandated by the Mexican government on their snacks and stuff they have, whether, you know, if it's like that. But the smell isn't really identifiable. These are little balls. They're not quite round. It's not like Skittles because they're not perfectly round. Um, they have indentations and all kinds of imperfections on there, which is kind of cool. And let's try one. They're soft. Do you think they're hard because the outside is a hard candy? But the hard candy part is no thicker than an M&M's worth of candy. Ooh. Tamarindo. <clears throat> Excuse Sorry, y'all. I had to pause there for a minute and cough my brains out because my mouth watered so much when the tamarind hit it that I choked on my own spit. <laughs> because apparently that's what I do. These are yummy because I love tamarind. Um... Jaritos sodas have a tamarind flavor. Tamarindo. It is delicious to me. A little sour, sweet. It's hard to compare it with anything else. But tamarind is wonderful. Mm. Oh, yes. 
Okay. We are three out of three, fat chick approved. The Kit Kat one, I wouldn't go out of my way for because you can just Kit Kat yourself to death and get something similar. Um, those barbecue flavor fried corn things, y'all, look at the little corn. He looks so happy. He's getting ready to be fried up and eaten by people like me. Bye, Pinoy. Okay. And these things. Pelon, pelonete, sabor a tamarindo. Yes, queen. I will be looking for these when I go to La Unica. Mm. So, so good. La Unica is a uh, Latin American, Latin Americano a grocery store, mega store in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. It's huge. It's in an old Walmart. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Fantastic selection there. Anyway, anyway, this is not about that. This is about what I've gotten in my Munch Attic for this week. Yes, and not just this week. I'll be getting this once a month at least for a while. And I will uh, be letting you know what's in there and what I found and whether it's good or not and what, where it's from. Lots of interesting things. Munch Attic, not affiliated, but you know what? If they wanted to, they could send something my way. I would not be opposed to that because this is fun. And it was not as expensive as some of the other snack subscription boxes that are out there, which was cool. It came with um, shipping included. So, love it, love it, love it. There will be more next week. Snacks around the world. We took a trip today. <clears throat> we were in the Philippines. We were in Korea. And we were in Mexico. And the Mexican stuff is the only one that I can pronounce correctly. Cheers. <laughs> See y'all very soon. Bye, y'all.